everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is kind of like the next part to the modeling series. I thought I would sit down and just show you guys this makeup look that I do for pretty much all of my photo shoots. 99% of the time it is based off the Victoria's Secret like hair and makeup look. Whenever I get like briefed for a shoot where I have to do my own makeup, they'll always send me a photo of Candace Swanepoel, which is this beautiful Victoria's Secret angel with flawless makeup. So I've definitely had to learn. But I feel like because I'm not a makeup or beauty sort of channel, I would just do a bit of a QA. and a I asked you guys on Instagram last night to send me any questions that you had for this video. I'm just gonna have a chit chat. I'll talk through the routine. It's gonna be a good time. We're doing makeup first and then I'll get on to my five minute, literally five minute curling hair tutorial. I am all for a quick and speedy makeup and hair routine. I don't have an hour every day to do it. Girls, this is like the lazy gal hack to Victoria's Secret makeup. I'll do the base and then get into some questions, but first things first, we have to sanitize or wash our hands because when you're touching your face and applying makeup, the last thing you want is like germies on your fingers. I got this hand sanitizer from Sukin. I love it, it's like a natural one. And it's a spray. I have never been like a primer sort of person until I tried this one and let me just tell ya this is like the softest thing I have ever put on my skin ever. You guys already know this because I use it in pretty much every video where I do my makeup but it is the Lust Minerals Mineral Primer. Where is my voice going? Hello. This is what it looks like. I'm halfway done. I think I do still have a Lust discount if you wanted to use it. It's not like a commission code or anything. It's literally just so you guys can save some money but I'll link it down below if it's still active. Two pumps on my hand just rub that into my face also I have this like random rash come up I have no idea why she's there I thought it was maybe because of my period but it's been there for like over a week now and I've tried so many little creams on it so getting on to foundation this I have used this foundation for six or seven years maybe maybe more I Love this one so much. If you're looking for a really dewy foundation that's affordable, this is literally heaven. I've tried so many foundations in my life. Whenever I go and get like my makeup professionally done, either I like think it's too like cakey or too matte, but this one is just such a nice coverage, but also dewy. So I really, really like this one. Please don't laugh at my application. I know I'm not a professional, but I feel like if I put it straight onto my face, then I'm not going to like lose any product in the process. Because this is a little pump, what I do is I just do a line, a line, another line, <laughs> another line, and then a dot on my nose. Don't rub it in yet. What I do is take this liquid highlighter. You could probably even get away with using like a shimmery sort of oil, but I love this one. This one is from Mecca and it is liquid light rose quartz. It is so good. It's like in a little droppy. What I do is I pop it literally just anywhere around those lines that I did. This is just going to make that base really, really nice and glowy. And I know people are going to come at me for having dirty brushes. I wash them maybe once a month. I'm so sorry. I definitely need to because if I'm going to the efforts of like sanitizing and washing my hands, I need to wash my brushes as well. Just ignore the fact that this is disgusting. But what we are going to do is literally just in circular motions, just rubbing that all in. It's still got that really nice glow and sheen. Ooh, there are some good questions. First question that stands out is, do you think Geordie is the one? As if I'm gonna be like, no, I don't think he's the one. That's why I moved in with him. Of course I do. I just don't think I would move in with someone who I'm not like, 
Yes, I'm 100% keen on this person. Jordi and I have been together for, I think we're coming on four years very soon. And if I didn't think he was the one by now, I'd be very worried. We have very similar visions for what we want in our lives, what we want to achieve, and things that we can do together as a couple, like in business and everything like that. So yes, absolutely, to answer your question, I think that would be so dumb if I didn't think he was the one also don't forget your hairline too just blend it in ever so slightly sorry my mirror is here that's why I'm talking to this side so another question that came through was what do you do for birth control the pill makes me hold on extra weight I don't really talk about this much because I think it's something that is suited so specifically to each individual person I have been on the pill for yeah like ever since I started dating Geordie so nearly four years and I have been on Diane I went on it also to help with my skin and I feel like it definitely did that and I've never had like any pregnancy scares or anything like that and I didn't have any issues with weight gain or weight loss if anything my life kind of stayed the same yeah the only real difference was that my acne cleared up but in saying that I have had so many friends on the exact same pill but it's done the opposite or it's done something completely different didn't clear their acne so I don't like really promoting it talking about it because I don't want someone to be like oh well it worked really well for Jess it's gonna work really well for me because that is so not the case everyone's hormones are completely different going off the pill is something I've definitely considered honestly getting pregnant is not something that's on the cards at the moment for me I think because there's so much that I want to do in my life before I settle down and have kids and if I went off the pill that's a risk that I would have to take is having kids earlier that's my personal opinion everyone else is so 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 different but yeah that's the reason I really don't like talking about it because I don't want someone to be like oh well Jess went on this I'm like no it's so 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 different but literally every woman on the planet so I've just gone ahead and done the concealer now coming in again with a dirty beauty blender you are so welcome I didn't really explain where I put the concealer but pretty much high points of your face under your eyes um, under the eyebrows up here on your nose on your cupid's bow and a bit on the chin this is just to make sure the high points of our face are gonna be really highlighted after the concealer I ever so slightly use a bit of translucent powder um, this one doesn't have flashback which is so important this one again is just from lust minerals pop some under my eyes then I also pop some just under my cheekbone there another question is what's one food you've always wanted to try like the basic answer would be hummus I would love to try and just like eat hummus and chickpeas that'd be so good at the moment I feel like I would love to try that marble Cadbury chocolate so if they could come out with a dairy-free version of that that'd be fantastic next we are going to move on to bronzer so I have this benefit palette which you can see I use literally all the time <laughs> so I go between these two colors depending on how tanned I am take an angle brush Get some product on there. I'm gonna like go like this. And then just define it a little bit more. Then what we wanna do is go around the forehead, making sure you're still getting into that hairline so that there's no gaps and it doesn't look awkward. Then going back into this palette, they have this little brush which is perfect for contouring the nose, I find. And I just literally go straight down the nose and then underneath. This is so weird, but get underneath as well. To finish it off, I'm just gonna really lightly just go over my eyelids. Yes, I'm gonna be using eyeshadow, but I think this just adds like a nice depth to it. How do you deal with comparing yourself to others? I saw this quote so, so, so long ago and it's stuck in my head since then. Practice the ability to admire someone else's beauty without questioning your own. A while ago, I was in a cycle of being like, oh, like constantly comparing myself. Like 
I wish my nose looked like that. I wish my skin looked like that. And I feel like we can all kind of get into that cycle and that sort of mentality of being like, oh, I wish, I wish, I wish. But I think taking a step back and writing down things that you really, really love about yourself and practicing more self-love and self-gratitude. I have different genetics to her. She has different genetics to me. And we eat differently. We all train differently. We all have different lifestyles. I think I said this in a podcast episode, but you can truly only compare yourself to your previous self. Let's get on to some blush. Taking this big fluffy brush, I use the Hourglass one in Mecca Glow. I've used this for like a year and a half now. It is so good, but this is what it looks like. Now, if I can give you any tip for this look, it is that blush is key because I feel like it brings that sort of happy girly sort of look to the makeup and you'll see this in a lot of Victoria's Secret models that they have this beautiful blush on their face. You can go overboard with it so just like slowly apply it but I just smile and then I start rubbing until I'm happy with I want to say the consistency, but I don't even know. I know it looks a little bit dramatic, but when you're on camera and when you're doing a shoot, it looks so good. And then let's make it even on the other side, of course. You can also dab a little bit over your nose. What do you use to edit all of your YouTube videos? I use Final Cut Pro. I also always get questions about like what I use to edit my thumbnails and what fonts I use. So I leave them in the description box below with a bunch of other like frequently asked questions. So if you ever need to know or you forget, just check the description because it's all listed down there. For eyeshadow, I am going to use this Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. This is what it looks like. I love it. Now, again, I'm not a professional makeup artist. I use two, two brushes for my eyeshadow. <laughs> I am going to mix the color Secret with a little bit of Tickle and then the tiniest tiniest bit of Teddy. I have quite hooded eyes, so this step is really important for me. I put the shadow just above my hood, so less on this like center bit, but more above it so that it looks like I have more lid space than I actually do. Wow, I'm really sorry if this tutorial sucks. <laughs> this color right here. Literally just keep it below that crease as much as you can. Fabulous. Next question. Favorite squat proof leggings? For sure the naked range from Riderwear. Particularly the black ones because they literally can wear them with anything. You can wear them casually. They match with any top you wear. I would highly recommend the black naked range ones. They are so good. Online studying tips you seem to manage all so well and not stressing about anything. I feel like I stress over the stupidest things if something's not going well with editing or la la la. Other than that, I'm quite a stress free sort of person. I don't know what it is. I'm just like, I obviously care, but not to the point where it's like, oh my God, this is never gonna happen. I'm like, life works out. It's like, it's all good. But with studying online, my course has been fantastic. It has been so, so, so good. Um, if you are new here, I am studying nutrition and I'm just doing it part-time online. So I have two days where I have the lectures and then I also have one weekly assignment. And for that, like me, that is quite reasonable because I do work from home. I work for myself. I can manage my time quite well, like around it because I have a set time, a set day where I'm like, okay, no work, no distractions, let me alone, I need to do this lecture. And then one major assignment every month. I'm loving it, I'm loving all of the content and I think that's the thing that's like, it's not stressing me out because I know what the content is and when it comes to the assignments, like I kind of know what I'm talking about. I have been to uni, like actual physical uni for a year and a half before I deferred it. <laughs> so I have experienced the full-time life of doing something that I was like, these units really suck. I got stressed because I would leave it to the last minute and I didn't have any motivation to do a bloody assignment on politics. Like, 
no thank you. I think it's also finding something that you genuinely want to study and enjoy. Studying online honestly can be hard, but dedicate, even if you don't have an allocated time where you have a lecture, make one. Now we are going on to the eyeliner. Now for this, I don't do like a lot of eyeliner. Sometimes that can get in the way of whatever we're shooting. So I shoot a lot of e-commerce, which is like those photos that you'd see on websites. So you don't want any makeup that's going to be too crazy, too bold. You just want something really, really subtle. So I use an eyebrow palette. I used to have this little teeny tiny angle brush, which I used to use for my wing. But it literally disappeared. I have no idea where it is. So I'm just using this eyebrow brush and dipping it in the darker color. Literally just put some product on there. Wow, that was out of focus. I'm so sorry. Love manual focus for me. And then you can bring it along that lash line. But the whole idea behind it is to just make it look super nice and natural. And I know it might not look like much, but in photos it really does come up nicely. Now, since we've got this out, I am going to do my eyebrows. So I take the lighter color, I've just wiped off the darker color. My eyebrows also are so different, which is really frustrating. It's okay, they're sisters, not twins. I'm like, this eyebrow is shorter than the other one. I'm so confused. What I do is take this Lash and Brow Growth Serum from Bondi Boost and I literally just use it kind of because it's just like a brush, <laughs> essentially. When was the first time you drank alcohol? Probably like at a Christmas dinner or something. I feel like my parents would give me a sip of wine. Um, I really don't drink that often. I don't really like the taste of it and Honestly, I just like never go clubbing ever. If someone handed me like one of those recorder like ciders that's like strawberry and lime, I think it is. Yum. One alcoholic beverage that I'm just like, mm, don't mind if I do. Yeah, I don't like the taste of wine. I don't like the taste of vodka. Yeah, I just never really drink. We never really buy drinks. It's so expensive. I'd rather spend my money on other things. Before highlighter, okay, hear me out. I feel like this makes it stick and pop just so much. Okay. Loose highlighter powder in Santorini. A little bit of product and pop it just above where we put the blush. So along here, bring it up under your brow. We wanna make a C formation like this. For the nose, we're gonna give ourselves a little Rudolph the reindeer nose. Put a bit at the top of the nose, so not all the way down the bridge. Bit on the cupid's bow, bit on the chin. What is your favorite workout at the moment? I'm loving training abs at the moment. Also, just curling my lashes. Love training abs and I love any sort of Pilates or yoga sesh. I'm so here for. I think at the moment, I'm loving doing real-time workouts on YouTube. My friends have been uploading so many of them. I've uploaded a few of them and I'm like, I love real-time workouts. Should mention that there are no fake lashes involved in this. Also, asking for a friend, how does one look cute when like putting on mascara? Cause I'm always like. <laughs> Literally the tiniest bit on the bottom lashes. Lastly, we are doing lips. Obviously we're gonna keep this very, very plain and simple. We're going with the Kylie Jenner Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is the Bondi Boost Lip Plumper. Rub it in. So it blends in with this Kylie Jenner thing. So moving on to the hair now, I swear this literally is the quickest hair tutorial you've ever seen in your life. We are going to pop our hair in a high ponytail. I'll show you the first one and then you literally just do it all over. Then what you want to do is wrap the hair around. Wait like 10, 15 seconds. Let it go into your hand. And then once you brush it out, it's 
really beautiful and really wavy. So I'm going to do that all over here and then when I let it out, it's these beautiful beach wave. I made a tutorial on this like three years ago. My hair tutorial is the exact same. So I'll leave a little card up here if you wanted the full tutorial where I talk more in depth about how to do it. I just took out the hair. So literally all I did was have it in the ponytail, curl, 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 curl. I brushed it and then pulled it out and this is what it looks like. Brushed through it a little bit more because I don't want the curls to be so intense. I want them to be nice and light. I timed it, it took me six minutes to curl and I have super long hair so that is a win for me. If you want to give it a little bit more volume, what you can do, you literally take a hairbrush, rub it back and forth and I feel like that just like adds so much more texture to my hair so whenever I go on shoots I, I bring a hairbrush. So this is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed the little Q&A as well. Please give me a thumbs up down below because that makes my day and hit subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss when I upload. My name is Jess. I make new videos every three days so I will see you in three days. Bye.